Hello there, PVNC Educational Assistants. Hope you're enjoying your PD session today in Coburg. I'm Chris Bouguet, co-author of the Practical and Fun Guide to Assistive Technology in Public Schools, and I'm the host of the AT Tips Cast, which is a podcast featuring free or commonly found tools and strategies to help differentiate instruction. Uh, my buddy Gerard. Hey there, Gerard. How you doing? You're looking sharp today, man. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, Gerard asked me to share with you one of the most useful and commonly recommended strategies that, that, that I use. So, really quickly, here it is. The voice comment feature in Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word. Have you ever had a student who could tell you the answer to a problem, or who could generate wild imaginative stories, or who could tell you details for an essay, but then, when it comes time to write those things down, that student demonstrated difficulty? Hey, I know that kid! The strategy I like to use for this type of student doesn't involve any additional pieces of software and only requires a minimal amount of training. In Microsoft Word 2007, and this worked in previous versions of Word as well, you can go to Insert Object Wave Sound to place the sound recorder object into a Word document. Using a microphone, the student records whatever it is they'd like to write. Templates can be set up with any number of sound recorder objects, so students can get their thoughts out in an organized fashion. A student could speak an entire essay, sentence by sentence, without picking up a pen or typing a keystroke. But wait, wouldn't it be great for students to learn how to type while they're in school? Absolutely! Students can then go back, listen to a sentence, and type it in. This way, they are still practicing that lifelong skill of keyboarding, which is the primary way we interface with a computer in contemporary society. Keyboarding! If the student doesn't get to finish the writing part of the assignment, at least the teacher can listen to what the student intended on writing. I don't have to write the whole thing! Finally, I like this strategy because a teacher could use it to give prompts to students. A teacher could record reminders, instructions, tips, and more for individuals or whole groups of students. Go teacher! I'll let Gerard take it from here. Hey Gerard, are you going to show them how to do this, or are you just going to give them links to tutorials? Show them! Show them! Show them! Show them! Either way, I think you and other teachers will find this strategy most useful for providing students with an alternative method for expressing themselves. Enjoy the rest of the session, and if you get a chance, check out the AT Tips Cast over at attipscast.wordpress.com. Each episode features a tool or tip that can be used to differentiate instruction. Thanks, Gerard, and go Sabres!